Hello again guys, welcome back. Well, I hope you enjoyed last week's silent video, but obviously in this one I shall be talking to you. I've driven into a new location here, so I'm going to use the truck setup, which I'll uh, get on in just a minute, but it's a hot day, but here in this spot, because it's a bit open, I've got a nice breeze, some shade, it's beautiful. So I thought I'd start off, just have a nice cup of tea, and uh, yeah, I'll get this uh, tent set up in a moment and get camp all straight. Got to love such a quick and easy setup. I've got the awning up uh, mainly for sunshade, but you never know, the weather's a bit weird at the moment. Um, and it's always good to uh, give it an air anyway. So I get this table up, and then it's just the fire pit. I'm honest about this fire pit, I find it just a tad too small to really get bigger logs in and hold the coals and really build up that heat. This is the large Winnerwell one. Um, I can't quite bring myself to buy the extra large though, which is significantly larger, maybe in the future. But I've also bought the bag for this and they cost enough. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, here we are. Opened it up so I can get a little bit of air in here, but uh, yeah, it's lovely. Completely surrounded by woodland. If anyone did want to know more about this tent and setup, I did do a video some time ago, uh, last year I think, over on the review channel, so I'll link it below. But uh, yeah, I think I've got this whole setup down to a bit of a fine science now. Um, there's not a lot else that I'd like to add to it. It's been working out pretty well for the last, what, two years now, I think. Um, yeah, pretty happy with it, holding up well. If anyone was wondering, this net is where I put my boots when I go to bed, or anything dirty really. Put a coat in here, dry under here, and this was one of the best suggestions I've had uh, from the comments in the past. Really, really handy. Cheap too. These lantern holders are absolutely great, I love them. I take them whenever I can pack them now. They're by TJM Metalworks. It's a blacksmith here in the UK. I love them. Oh, and make sure you fuel up your lanterns at least an hour before you light them. That fuel's gotta be sucked up by the wick um, so you're not just burning the wick. Got my M power solar powered lights up now. Just give me some light under the awning. I've got another one, but it needs a USB battery pack. Uh, I've only got the one with me today. I might put them up, we'll see. That's camp all pretty much set up. I'm gonna go find some kindling for the fire later. And um, I'm gonna do some baking before I actually light the fire as well, I think. I've got a few bits and bobs on the table here. I've got some bread flour mix I've made up with some sugar, yeast, salt in it already. So I'm just going to plonk that in the bowl here. I've got some water I just warmed up on the stove. And this is just oil, just using it in place of butter, just because it's hot. So we put some of that in. And I'm just going to have to guess the water. So I'm just going to mix it with a butter knife first, and then move to my hands. I think we're about there. Start kneading now. And I can add a little flour if it's a little bit wet. It looks alright. I'm just going to knead it in the bowl. That way I don't need a chopping board. Okay, I think we're pretty much there. I'd take it further if I was at home, but it's camp cuisine. So just get that into a bowl. I'm going to put a little oil in 
here. I'll just use my hands just to stop it sticking while it proves. A little just on here. Stick that in the middle. Flatten it a little bit. Don't want to get it too close to the top. I'd rather it spread out than rise directly upwards. Okay, I've just got a charcoal lighter here. And if I light this Twizzler here, just put that on top, get that going. And I should be able to just bake my bread with that before I get the fire going. If you're wondering why there's ash in here, magic of film, I had to do a thumbnail for this video. <laughs> I think for the moment I'll put the coals in here. Ooh. And I'll put some coals on the top here just to start warming it up, just to proof it before I start baking. Okay, I think that's pretty proofed enough, so I can pile on the coals now. As you can probably see, I've put the coals around the outside at the top and like in a ring around the outside at the bottom. If it starts getting too hot, I'll move some of these. It's a bit too hot to uh, be near that Dutch oven. It seems to be doing all right, I had a little peek. I just put on a couple more coals uh, just to get it browning, get a nice crust on it. I've also spread out the coals underneath because it's very easy to uh, burn the bottom of bread in a Dutch oven, I know. <laughs> it's starting to cool a little bit and there's a slight breeze. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Right, I've just taken it off and I've been putting that on the side to get a bit of colour on it. And I think we're done. Well, that bread came out pretty nice actually. I'm uh, looking forward to doing some food later. I've I think a bit of a kind of pot roast 
and I can just dunk that bread in. Looking forward to that. But I'm going to wait till this uh, sun goes down before I light the fire. Shouldn't be too much longer, and I might even see a sunset here. Uh, thanks to the guys, uh, some of you that mentioned that uh, some of my t-shirt designs disappeared off the merch store. I'm going to be sorting that out um, very soon. Basically their pricing goes up and then because my pricing was set quite low it all kind of vanished. But I have to just go in and set all that up. And uh, on that I've got a couple of things coming soon. So watch this space and I'll announce in a video. They're really nice things. <laughs> I think you're going to like them. Still some hot coals in there, but I'll put a fire lighter in anyway. Time to get this party started. What I'm cooking is going to take a while, so I need to get a nice bed of coals. Right, just got to peel and cut these potatoes and uh, skin them small onions. Uh, get a couple of cloves of garlic and I've got um, some beef and passata as well. So I just get all that in the Dutch oven and I've just knocked up a quick tripod as well so we can get that over the fire. That's got some oil in there, and I'm just going to go in with the onions first. They're still heating up. I floured a piece of beef, so I'm just going to brown that off now. I'll give that a turn. In with the garlic and some of the potatoes, one just went on the floor. And passata. Water substituting for stock because I forgot it. And I've got salt, a little bit of pepper left.
bit of cumin. A few chilli flakes. And some paprika. I'm going to give that a mix. Maybe a little more water. Yeah. Extra water and lid on. It's starting off with my first beer, which is a Funky Drummer Six Hop Hazy IPA. Oh, that's got a strong flavour. Oh, food's cooking away. You can see my filming light. <laughs> Should have done it at an angle. Never mind. Well, this is strong. Dinner is on way too late. I'm probably not going to eat till close to midnight. <laughs> Just getting that habit of cooking at night, forgetting how long the days are. Never mind, we're here to enjoy this. If I go to bed late, I'll wake up a bit later. <laughs> Actually, looking forward to breakfast. I've got uh, pancakes and uh, bacon and some maple syrup. Oh chill for a bit now. Seven point five percent? No wonder it tastes strong. I'm gonna have to have some of that bread before dinner's ready. Well, you're probably a little bit confused at the moment as to why I've just pulled in and uh, set up the uh, chair. <laughs> it was a, a weird day, um, the rest of this video. It's a few days later now, and I've come back to the same spot just to bring some kind of closure to this video, really. Um, I got a phone call, um, God, about 11 at night while I was still cooking the dinner, and um, it turned out that my dad had been hit by a car. Um, didn't have much information so just threw everything in the truck closed down the truck tent it couldn't have been a time when I was uh, in the shelter or something where I could just literally get in the truck and go but yeah uh, rushed home and uh Thankfully, he's he's okay. Um, he's disabled. He was in a mobility bike, and um, he's uh, got a um, dislocated, no, fractured shoulder, and some bruised ribs. Um, so obviously, long night, and uh, kind of <laughs> busy days afterwards. But uh, yeah, thankfully, he's okay. Uh, it was just a bit of a, a scare at the time. But yeah, it's a few days later now, as I say, and. Um, back here in the truck and uh, 
just going to set the fire pit up and have some breakfast. I didn't get to eat that dinner, it was unfinished and obviously we was very busy, uh, hospital runs and all that business, so I don't know if it was nice or not. Um, it didn't have the beef stock and I think I put too much of the tomato in it as well, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get this fire pit set up. Yeah, so apologies for the disjointed video, it's, uh, it's been a strange time. <laughs> I've put a lot of work into the first part of this video and I thought it needs some kind of closure. I didn't want to give you half a video. It's so bright out here today, it's a hot one. I've still got my Kindle in here. Let's just build this fire and act like nothing happened. <laughs> It's a hot one today. Whew. Well, the fire's lit over there, not too close. <laughs> yeah, I was briefly considering kind of um, stitching together and making the first video into one, but I just thought it seemed dishonest, really. I may as well just be straight with you guys. I mean, you know me. Um, talked to a lot of you in the comments and that. I don't really want to just be making some story up. So I thought I'd tell the truth and uh, yeah, give some kind of ending to this. I've still got the pancake batter mix in a bag. So we're going to do the pancakes and I've got some fresh bacon because I ate the other bacon. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have some breakfast and no packing up to do, just the fire pit. <laughs> That's one bonus. It's right out here, makes it hard for filming. Here's my pancake mix. There's an egg. Some milk. And we're just going to mix this in the bag. Okay, the pan is on. Time to get our bacon in first. Let's try for five.
new bacon and pancake number one Second one's a little nicer, as always with pancakes. You know what would go really nice with this? Some syrup. Do you know who was sure they packed syrup? Me. But I can't find it. <laughs> so let's soak up some of that grease with these pancakes. Well, I suppose I should have expected breakfast to go that way after the rest of this camp. Never mind, some uh, slightly dry pancakes, but it was nice enough. Beautiful day, if a little hot. I'm going to drive now to my shelter to water the roof and do some general maintenance stuff in the woodlands. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you.